I'm going to show you how to get files off your iPod Touch onto your Mac OS device, a desktop or a laptop, without having to go through email for those big files that won't email, or having to set up an FTP uh, connection with the iPod or use Wi-Fi. Some people refer to the cable you use to connect your Touch and your iMac or MacBook as a docking cable. It's just the USB cable and you attach that to the iMac and your uh, iPod and you're good to go. iTunes will start up when it does. I let it sync. I don't know if that's a necessary thing to do, but I assume that deleting files from the touch while it's syncing is a path to disaster of some kind. So I let it sync fully and then I'll show you how to get the files uh, off your iPod touch. I am using my iPod touch with a Zoom IQ5 microphone to record this and I'm using Rode's uh, LE app uh, and it is onerous. So I'll direct you to their website, I mean to their YouTube video to show you how to convert the files. You have to convert each file individually before iTunes can see it. So I'll show you, uh, they will show you how to convert it and then I'll show you how to get it off your touch without emailing huge audio files. When I attach my iPod to the computer, you see the icon pop up. iTunes starts automatically and it syncs. I don't try to do anything while it's syncing because, as I said, I fear screwing something up if I delete files while the computer and iPod Touch are syncing with each other. After it's completed syncing, click, click on the iPod icon and that takes you over to the information about the iPod. So there it is, click on apps and that takes you to all the apps. Scroll down to file sharing, the apps listed below, you can sw transfer documents back and forth between those apps and your computer. I have a few files from Movie Pro, so I want to copy them to my Mac, I select them drag them over to the desktop and they're copied in an instant. Watch the bar show the temperature as you copy those files over. One, two, three. No FTP, no web browser, no nothing. Just click and drag. To delete them, the delete dialog pops up off this screen, so I dragged it down, delete, and they're gone. For road, you have to convert each file individually. I have about a dozen files. So I named the one I want to copy. Rode lets you name the files, which is very handy. I have about a dozen files and they're, they're numbered, which is not helpful at all when you're trying to keep track. To delete, you do the same thing. And then after you've finished everything that you need to do, click on the sync button so that you have the Mac and iPod in sync again. 